Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about training while fasting. Fasting can be a great tool for various reasons, but it's essential to understand how to approach your workouts during this time to ensure you're still making progress towards your fitness goals. I will not go into fasting details here. The purpose of this video is to let you know how to get the most out of your training if you're training fasting, for example, during your Ramadan or when you're doing intermittent fasting. Ramadan brings a profound shift to your daily routine. It influences your physical, emotional and spiritual well-being. First things first, hydration is key. When you are fasting, it's crucial to stay hydrated, especially if you are planning to work out. Drink plenty of water before, during and after your workout to maintain optimal performance and prevent dehydration. Next, prioritize a thorough warm-up. Since you may not have consumed any food before your workout, your body might need a bit more time to get warmed up properly. Start with some dynamic stretches and light cardio to get your heart rate up and uh, your muscles ready for action. While exercising in a fasted state, your body may start breaking down muscle to use protein for fuel. Also, you are more su susceptible to hitting the wall, which means you will have less energy and not be able to work out as hard or perform as well. So, think through timing. There are three considerations when making your workout more effective while fasting. Whether you uh, should exercise before, during or after the fueling window. One popular method of intermittent fasting is the 16 to 8 protocol. The concept refers to consuming all food within an 8-hour fueling window and then fasting for 16 hours. Working out before the window is ideal for someone who performs well during exercise on an empty stomach, while during the window it is better suited for someone who doesn't like to exercise on an empty stomach and also wants to capitalize on post-workout nutrition. After the window is for people who like to exercise after fueling but don't have the opportunity to do it during the eating window. Select your workout type based on your macros. It's crucial to consider your macronutrient intake before and after your workouts. For instance, strength training typically demands higher carbohydrate intake on the day of the workout, whereas cardio or high-intensity interval training can be performed on a day with lower carb consumption. Consume appropriate meals post-workout to build or sustain muscle. For those practicing intermittent fasting alongside exercise, the optimal approach is to schedule workouts during eating windows to ensure peak nutrition levels, especially after intense weightlifting sessions, providing your body with protein post-workout is crucial for recovery. After strength training, follow up with carbohydrates and the minimum of 30 grams of protein within 30 minutes of completing your workout. During the month of Ramadan, I would exercise one to two hours after my first meal. Let's say that sunset is at 7 p.m. If possible, I would hit the gym at 8, 8.30 p.m. After the workout, I would have a combination of protein and carbs to start the recovery as soon as possible. Stay hydrated as much as you can when you are allowed to drink water. I would also try to change my sleep patterns. Most likely, I would stay awake most of the time of the night and try to get some quality sleep during the first half of the day. Now, if you have a 9 to 5 job, this is hard to do. In that case, I suggest to do a 2 to 3 day training split, for example, a 2 day total body split or a push pull lower body split. Let's say that Saturday and Sunday are the days off from work, then I would train on those days. For the period of Ramadan, my goal would be to maintain muscle mass or I would go for a mini cut. Keep in mind that if you manage to keep your muscles in use with some resistance training, paired with enough protein, you will not lose muscle mass. Two to three training sessions per week paired with proper nutrition will keep muscle on your frame. For cardio, I suggest something low intensity like walking. If energy levels are really low, I would skip cardio for the time and uh, focus on weight training. And my final thoughts. I didn't try Ramadan, but I know many who celebrate the month of Ramadan and when I worked as a personal trainer here in a local gym, I had a few clients who celebrated it, so we did like I just explained. Most of them did well at the time and they lost some weight and improved their fitness. I remember that the gym was closing at 10pm, but in some cases I extended the working hours 
a bit because I had clients that because of Ramadan weren't able to come to train before 9 p.m. and uh, so of course to finish the workout I extended the working hours at the time but these are my thoughts and in the end I would ask to listen to your body if you need to take a break from the gym take a break for a week and then slowly start again with your training as long as you have enough quality calories and enough protein during your feeding window you should be fine so guys i hope you had a fantastic day thanks for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more fresh fitness content until next time take care